She's like, girl, what's your name? Is she cool? Is she lame? Oh, you're talking about what's her name? Deborah Ann. Is she lame? Is she cool? Is she breaking every rule? Is she anybody's fool? Deborah Ann. Deborah Ann. Deborah Ann. Marching in her own parade. Deborah Ann. She's like, go ahead in a million. Deborah Ann. Deborah Ann. Much too cool for seventh grade. Catch her if you can. Deborah Ann. Who? Is that that girl from gym class? No, that's me. Oh. Who is she, and why does she have her own song? Did someone take my lunch? Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, marching in her own parade. Pepper Ann, she's like one in a million. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, much too cool for seventh grade. No one's cooler than Pepper Ann. She's her own biggest fan, Pepper Ann. Iceberg, get ahead! Pyramid peanut butter, pyramid peanut butter, peanut butter of the Pharaohs. One more batch for the Free Willy's Extended Family Bake Sale, and then a... Ooh! Recycling day! Janie, look at my T-shirt! I'm wearing it in honor of our environmentals meeting tonight. Pepper Ann, it isn't so simple to think that recyclers are right and non-recyclers are wrong. You just can't tell these people to kiss your can willy-nilly. Maybe you should change your shirt. And Janie, no offense, but what I wear is really up to me. Not even my mom tells me. Change your shirt, Peppy. <gasps> <gasps> the skunks that happened upon the death trap that was my recycling all lived to stink again. And how. <laughs> But others across the country haven't been so lucky. The tapered design allows pee-pee-hungry skunks to poke their heads in discarded jars. When they try to get it off, their fur locks with the mouth of the jar, and the poor stinkers walk around blind, only to fall prey to predators or pickups. As hazelnuts wildlife watchdogs, we have a duty to stop this pee-nutty abomination and convince Pyramid to redesign their jars. Good enough. Righteous. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put a lid on the pyramid. Hmm? <laughs> we can't just condemn the public. We have to inform them first. I don't understand why we can't do something a little more drastic. Daring activists are capturing the world's imagination. Let's just give in to their demands. That is a great idea, Jeff. You're fired! This company, this pyramid PB company, says they just want to sell some peanut spread, Rian. Let me tell you something. What they're selling is killing skunks dead, man. Pyramid stinks, not the skunks! Pyramid stinks, not the skunks! Pyramid stinks, not the skunks! Come on, fine! I was wrong! I was wrong! Skunks matter! They matter! Um, we want to convince the company to change their policies, and we want people to rally behind us. We want to make friends, not war. But Janie, pyramid peanut butter is evil and must be destroyed. Pepper Ann, they're not evil and they shouldn't be destroyed. It isn't so black and white. Look at it this way. Stealing a dog biscuit is wrong. Not stealing a dog biscuit is right. But suppose the little doggy was starving to death and didn't have any money. Then stealing the biscuit would be a little wrong, but also a little right. And that's the way things often are. Gray. Like me. No, 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 no. Why don't you focus all that seething rage into stuffing and sealing envelopes? Today's shipment ready? <sighs> 14 days in a row. Jeez, how's that tongue doing? Great. Thanks to the environmentals, all of Hazelnut now knows about the skunks getting their heads stuck in pyramid peanut butter containers. Tonight, a development, the Pyramid Corporation has introduced a new elastic skunk safe container that will allow skunks to slip in and out unharmed. A happy ending for the filthy striped vermin? Yes! But the nightmare for gophers is just beginning. Experts say the new jar's flexibility allows gophers to get their heads stuck. We'll bring you updates as the story develops. 
Small wonder ruled the airwaves. Gel toothpastes were introduced. And the lasagna-loving cat hated Mondays. Coming up, the Nut Line Timeline. King Tut is nuts for peanut butter. Pyramid peanut butter. And guess what? It's new and improved. Extra chunks with no dead skunks. What about the goofers? I... Huh? Where's Janie? Having a eucalyptus oil wrap to get rid of the skunk stink. They say you're supposed to bathe in tomato juice, but she couldn't find any organic. Did you hear about the gophers? Oh, I heard about the gophers. My environmental friends, Pyramid has slapped us in the face and called us Patsy. This is a time to take some hard action. Now, who's with me? But what about Janie? Didn't she say we should be careful? Careful? All we've been is caref. And what do we have to show for it? Dead gophers. This is black and white. They're whack and we're right. This is our chance to stop them in their tracks with something so bold, so daring, so shocking that they have no choice but to instantly give in to our demands. Like streaking at the next Hazelnut Hazelbacks game? No. Like finding out when the next shipment of Pyramid PB is coming to Smiley's, grabbing it and holding it until they redesign their jars? Yes. Yes, sir. Taking peanut butter that isn't yours? Is this a good idea? We're not taking it. We're just holding it for a little while, and we're doing this to stop the needless slaughter of skunks and or gophers. <gasps> we took a vote and decided you should have the privilege of holding on to the peanut butter. That's right, gone. A group calling itself Skunk and Gopher Peace is claiming responsibility, saying that the pyramid product will be returned when the company decides to make its containers animal safe. Meanwhile, hazel nutrients everywhere are lashing out at Skunk and Gopher Peace. We found three. I own Mr. Moo Cow's Smoopendous Smoothie Shakes. Our signature shake is the Pyramid Peanut Parfait. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I hate Skunk and Gopher Peace. I can only eat the pyramid. Other peanut butters make me physically sick. Where am I supposed to get my protein, huh? The protein fairy? I've been working on peanut butter ponics, the science of growing plants using no soil, only peanut butter. The skunks and gophers be dang. I need my PB. Oop. Pepper Ann, have you heard? Heard? This skunk and gopher piece. They're destroying our cause. <laughs> this is exactly what I was talking about. People doing the wrong thing because they think they're in the right. Yeah. Oh, oh, this might set us back years. People think we anti-pyramid tears are fanatics. How can we get them behind us now? I don't know. Now we may never convince Pyramid to fix their design. The deaths of thousands of innocent gophers could be on Skunk and Gopher Pieces' hands. Jeannie, I gotta go. Where are you going? <laughs> Ooh, didn't the eucalyptus wrap work? Um... Everyone hates Skunk and Gopher Peace. We bombed. Let's give it back! No way! People who don't care about animals deserve to have their peanut butter, like, embargoed. And if we give it back, I mean, some gophers are definitely gonna die. What do you think we should do, Pepper Ed? It was wrong to take the peanut butter. But if we do the right thing and give it back, some animals are gonna die. I mean, there's right, like I'm looking someone choking, and there's wrong, like when Dieter tried to turn his bedroom into a smokehouse, but so much of what goes on falls in between. In between. I wish life came with a little instruction packet or something, just to warn you. Wait. Uh-huh, just to warn you, and... I hope this works. It's a great idea. But, um, you may want to get that. <gasps> Hi! Oh, Pepper Ann! Smiley's finally got in some organic tomato juice. Now I can get rid of my nagging skunk stink. Isn't it? Oh. Pepper Ann, don't tell me you're involved in the pyramid theft. Um, not theft. Unrequested safekeeping. Pepper Ann. 
You're going to the Pyramid Company tomorrow, and you're gonna tell them what you've done. And I want you to get anyone else who was involved and tell them to come too. In the meantime, you're in my protective custody, so don't try any funny business. Let's go. I should have listened to you, Jamie. It wasn't black and white, except, you know, for the skunks. Finding that out for yourself just may have been worth it. You did the right thing by returning the peanut butter. I think it was more like the less wrong thing. Or the gray doggy thing, hmm? Oh, well, either way, I'm proud of you, Pepper Ann. And don't worry, Pyramid isn't going to prosecute a little girl in front of the whole country. We're gonna make an example of you, kid. We're gonna show the whole world that you can't hijack the country's favorite peanut-derived spreading product and get away with it. Why, we'll... Look, JB, they return the jars with these little tags. Crush after using Sammy Skunk and Gary Gopher say thanks? The nerve of this little punkette. I tell you, we're gonna put... You know, we're gonna, I hate we're... peanuts with all my being, but I just can't resist a cartoon skunk. This is the cutest gopher product spokesman I have ever seen. Look, JB, the furry friends are playing like gangbusters with the unwashed masses. This could be the bump we've needed since the Weevil incident. You're right. They love it. Little girl, looks like you got lucky. So, are we off the hook? <laughs> Kinda, sorta. Hey, come on! You helped change a company's policy and saved countless skunks and gophers. Plus, it doesn't get any more environmental than this. You know, you're right. Oh. So, we've got it all planned. The whole class is gonna sneeze at five after. <laughs> it's brilliant. Brilliant. I don't think it's brilliant at all. It's totally immature and shows a lack of respect for Mr. Carter. All right, Nikki's in. Okie dokie, class. Let's open our books to chapter nine, The Exoskeletal Files. Pepper Ann, please, call off this juvenile prank before... That's enough chit-chat, Miss Little. You can talk to Pepper Ann after detention today. I didn't know you had detention today. She doesn't. You do. Did it? Did... Oh, just ignore that there. I stamp them in advance. Saves time. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Nikki, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? This is going on my permanent record. That's what's wrong. Permanent record? Pepper Ann, don't you know that everything you do, every expulsion, every detention, every incident of poor citizenship is kept on a permanent record? Vera, where the Sam Hill is Pearson's file? On your right. record stays with you forever, and thanks to this detention, I've been marked for life! And, of course, free lattes for the Puro team. And that, Ms. Little, is our Harvard. Now, in regards to your application, everything seems to be in perfect order, except for one thing. <gasps> Did you think we wouldn't find out about the detention, Nikki? Did you think it would just slip our notice? It's on your permanent record for Pete's sake. Sorry, detention. Try film school. That D should stand for duh. Hello, Phi Beta loser. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, D girl. You know, things could be a lot worse. Sorry you have to go in there alone, Nikki. Believe me, I try to get detention. Know it. The one day I actually want detention, I can't get it. So we still on for brain dead? Sorry, 
Coach Dugan wants me to see the school psychologist. Close that book, Miss Little. What? Homework is against the rules. Uh, uh. All you can do in detention is sit and think about the wrong you've committed. You can stare at the clock, too, if you want. Hey! Hey! Uh. So what'd the shrink say? Is it stress-related? Nah, she just thinks Nikki might be a bad influence on me. <laughs> There's the bad seed now. Good morning. Phew, what a relief. I was afraid your stint in D Hall would sap the amazing out of the amazing Nikki Little. See, it wasn't that bad. Oh no, it was a fiery abomination of heck. But it did give me time to think about what I did and made me realize what I have to do. What? Get that detention off my permanent record if it kills me. How? Give it up, team. Looks like they got away. Sorry, Pepperian. That plan would never work. Why not? Well, not only is it impractical, unsafe, and unfeasible, it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh. What if we tunneled in through the... I like it! We could use rubber cement to... Stop it! I've already got a foolproof plan. Every detail is set, double-checked, and timed to the second. November 6, 5 o'clock a.m., we leave our respective homes. We'll each take a different route to school. The fewer huh. people who see us together, the better. Ouch! Huh? I thought we were taking alternate routes to school. So did I. Way to follow your own plan, Nikki. Ugh. Well, at least Milo got it right. Here I am, right on schedule. At 5, 19 and 30 seconds, we were supposed to rendezvous at the H tree, but since we're all together, ahem, we will approach the school from the east so as to avoid the motion sensor outdoor lighting system. So how are we going to get inside the school? <gasps> and into Hickey's office. I've got duplicate keys, courtesy of Shelf McLean. I knew it! She spent too much time on the inside. She goes in with a misdemeanor and comes out hard and corrupted with criminal ties. Hey, hey, I did what I had to do. At least I got the keys. Uh-oh, looks like Kyle set off the lights again. There, that's better. <laughs> so, this is where you work? Being a middle school janitor may seem like a thankless job, but I find honor in my work. Yo, would you look at that? Oh, excuse me while I go get my trash picker. <gasps> <gasps> Ooh, that's strange. I don't remember locking up. Um, why don't you just pick up the juice box with your hand? You wouldn't ask a surgeon removing a kidney stone to just pick it up with his hand, would you? Oh, Ernie, I'm seeing you in a whole new loot. Light. My plan is in ruins. Hey, look! Here's that stuff they throw and vomit. Oh, Reginald, I wish this date never had to end. My name is Ernie. Oh, yeah! So, um, I've got to get to the catwalk and work it. Can I get a ride? We've got to get inside before the... Sprinklers come on. I've got it. Let's go. Class starts in ten minutes. 
overactive imagination quite normal for a spirited girl her age. Overactive imagination? Spirited? I knew that psychologist thought I was gaga. I'm not gaga, am I? I mean, if I'm worried about being gaga, doesn't that mean I'm sane? Because if you're gaga, don't you think you're sane? And would a sane person use the word gaga? Sorry, but Devo broke up like 20 years ago. We've got to ditch the jumpsuits and destroy the file before we run into... <laughs> Nikki Little, just the person I wanted to talk to, alone. Bye, Bye Nikki. Nikki. Nikki, I was speaking with Vera, and she told me how much distress getting detention caused you. Now, I'd hate for it to interfere with your schoolwork, so what do you say I erase the detention from your permanent record? Oh, no, please, you shouldn't. After all, it wouldn't be fair to the other students. You're not just any student, Nikki. Why, you may be the first in Hazelnut Middle School history to attend an Ivy League university, which in turn would reflect very well on our school and its uh, <clears throat> dedicated administrators. Now, we can't let one silly little detention jeopardize. Wait a minute. Just what are you two doing in here? She doesn't know. I tried to tell her it was time for class, but she insisted on saying hello to every one of your pencils. The other day, she was wearing a bucket on her head. The school psychologist thinks, well, I'm sure it's all in her file. Come on, sweetie. Let's go. Bye-bye, Pensy and Erasy. I always knew that girl was Gaga. Ah, here we go. Nikki Little. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. I'm afraid I can't erase this detention from your permanent record. I wrote it down in ink. What? Kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. 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 Hey.